that's the first step for a parent. If the child is not feeling well, what should the parent do? How should they react besides obviously the COVID, you know, test? Like what other strategies can they use to figure it out, you know, to figure out their kids' symptoms? Yeah, it's really important to open up a safe space where they can actually talk about their feelings in case it is anxiety related. Um, and don't assume they're just trying to get out of school, but ask some open ended questions like, you know, has there been anything on your mind lately? What's school been like lately? How are things going with your friends? There might be a social situation or a holiday party or exam stress that is making them anxious. But the really important thing is making them feel like they have a right to talk about their feelings and that you're not going to be dismissive of them or just accuse them of trying to get out of school. Of course, and that's important, especially because we all know how kids these days sometimes will say anything to kind of maybe not go to school or to avoid an issue, especially with everything that's going on when it comes to the social media and everything. So how do you recommend evaluating how your child is feeling besides, you know, open-ended questions and asking them how they feel? What, <clears throat> what else would you say um, is a good strategy for that? Yeah, and you're exactly right. A lot of times we can't know exactly what's going on under the surface. So sometimes we really have to look at patterns and just observe their behavior. So a lot of times you'll see changes in pat and behavior patterns. You'll see changes in eating, changes in sleeping. Maybe they've gotten more isolated. Maybe they just seem like they're not as talkative. Those can often be clues that something is bothering them and really going on underneath the surface, even if they have trouble putting it into words or they don't want to be honest about it. But if they do ask it to take a mental health day, I think it's really important to think about how to spend that time. So instead of just a free pass off from school, which honestly can sort of trigger more school avoidance over time because it gets harder to go back, Think about how you can spend that time helping strengthen them, helping heal them, much like you would a physical illness. Can we learn some new coping mechanisms? Can we strategize on a problem that we're having? Can we think about reaching out for additional emotional support? Because what we want is for that day off, that mental health day, to be really re-energizing for them so they actually end up better off rather than just digging themselves into a hole where now they're even more worried to go back to school. Would you say that viruses can even come out of, you know, any kind of mental health related stuff that a virus will just appear or come out? I think the mind and body connection is so, so strong. So essentially, when we are stressed, we know that our immune system is not working the way it should. And really, that's why a lot of physical symptoms can cause emotional stuff and emotional symptoms can cause physical symptoms. So it's all really interrelated. And I think physical health and mental health should both be paid attention to by parents, because oftentimes we overfocus on one at the expense of the other. One goes with the other, as you as you mentioned. Exactly. And what... What would you say parents should do if they learn that if the child has the stress that is affecting them, what should they do kind of to help them feel more calm or besides, you know, those questions and, and talking to them? Yeah, and there's always all kinds of self-care techniques that we can think about for our kids. A lot of times there are breathing exercises online. We can teach them sunlight, fresh air, some physical movement can be helpful. A lot of times listening to music, but making a long-term plan to help them feel more in control of their lives and not being afraid to have them reach out for support as well. It's okay to talk to a professional about feelings, but I think for all of us parents struggling with this, it's such a busy time. It can be so stressful. Well, there are more resources online. Abbott has a ton of re resources at rapidtest.abbott slash binax now. In this busy time when we're thinking about COVID testing, we're thinking about keeping our kids safe and wondering about their stressors, it's important to know we're not alone as parents. Well, thank you so much for your time and thank you for joining us here today and happy holidays to you. Thanks so much. You too. Thank you.